Oh, I kind of feel guilty. I haven't told Mangle and Puppet about my late night excursion to the other pizzeria. Should I probably tell them about that? Guys, where are... Oh, tell wait. us about what? Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. Tell us about what? Oh, what should we name him? Not Gary. Why? Because that's Gary. not his name. No, Gary's a weird name. We're gonna name him something dinosaur-y. Like Rex. Wait, that's a dog's name. And also a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hmm. What if we name him Rex Rex? Double the Rex. Does the... Sure. What, whatever. Nothing. Wait, where'd you go? You were right here. Where? I did... Mangle? <laughs> Hello? What? How'd you do that? You just teleported. You... I was standing I right here. I over the counter. Are you to... okay? Talking to Rex Rex. No, wait. I don't like that name. Uh, Rex... X. Okay, that's his new name. You're coming with me, buddy. You just took the R off the of toy, the E. By the toy to notice that she went around you. What? Okay, puppet. I don't need lectures from you. I was just looking at the, the little toy. Which, speaking of which, did you pick him up? Could I have him? Thank you. All right, Rex X. It's me and you against the world. And by the world, I mean Mangle. And by against, I mean I have something to apologize to you guys for. Oh, boy. Was it a sign? I didn't do anything. Come on. What? what? Who do you guys think I am? We're friends, remember? We got mm -hmm. apologizing for something, so it had to be something worth apologizing for. You know, that's a fair point. I understand why you would think that. Um, It's not necessarily something I did to you. Just something I did without you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other night, uh, I might have stuck out to go to another pizzeria. Why? I'm sorry, I'm not cheating on you or anything, but you know how sometimes when things are getting really tough in life, you, you know, have to have a coping mechanism. Well, my coping mechanism is that I write letters uh, that express my feelings, and then I don't send them. Oh, so you have a diary. Kind of. A little... Okay, you know what? I don't want to hear it about... It's not a diary. It's a journal. Anywho. <coughs> a diary. Mm. Um, anyway... Yeah, right. like Puppet, he goes okay. like it walks around. Yeah, I'm fine. It was more and... like a letter, and I, uh, you know, I accidentally might have uh, sent the letter. Is all. So that's your coping mechanism. Yeah. So I write letters about my feelings, about you know, you know how we, you know, chaotic double. Oh, mine's stick. eating. That's probably a better you coping are mechanism. Quite bizarre. Why would you say so that? What's wrong with that? Just get to the point. Well, there's nothing uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with the coping mechanism. I just accidentally happened to send a letter where I uh, might have admitted to killing Willie Muffin. <clears throat> One more time with the ladder? I might have admitted to killing William Afton. <laughs> oh, fuck me. That's funny. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Please, what, what do you mean? Well, you see, I was... Talking to, you know, my journal, and I was writing about how I'd done a bunch of things that I was really ashamed for, but really it was in self-defense, and he would have attacked us and shut us off forever if we hadn't done it, and I might have, you know, addressed the letter to Freddy Fazbear, just because, you know, he's the person who was on the side at the other pizzeria, and I, I just thought it would be funny uh, that I might have accidentally sent the letter down somewhere outside that I thought was a trash can, but it turned out to be a mailbox. That's I... the whole story. So this, it, so like, it's a, a joke, right? No, Mangle, I sent a letter to Freddy Fazbear uh, admitting to murdering William Afton. But there is a good news, a uh, happy terrible ending. terrible accomplice. Okay, listen. I didn't even mention you guys in the letter, but then. Oh, so it's all your fault. So we're out of this. We're like, we're awesome. not even involved. No, wait. I, uh, I might have gone over to the other pizzeria to try and get the letter back before they read it, and while I was there, I might have mentioned that you guys were actually the ones who did everything. But what? wait, what? but wait, there's more, guys. Don't worry. So, uh, you know, William Afton, he, uh, you know, he's dead. He's and, but, you know, how we saw uh, Henry the other day and he was, you know, all alive and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not alive anymore. 
So trust me, they're not going to tell anybody what we did because then I would tell people what they did. Uh, which, by the way, what they did was they killed Henry. Right. Man, you threw us under the bus. Yep. No, I... Literally, we are under the bus right now. No. We don't have, we don't have to talk hey, to wait, him. guys! Gosh, dang it. Oh, oh well. Fine. I didn't want to talk to them anyway. Uh, it's just you and me against the world, all wreck sex. Oh, you're, you're a nice little dinosaur. I love you, buddy. Okay, let me pick you back up. Okay. Uh, I probably should apologize to them again. Oh, I'll bring them a pizza. That always softens people up. And also... Oh, wait. I hadn't even thought of this. Probably uh, we should go check on Henry's children, huh? I mean, they're out of a father. Uh, hello, guys? Not in there. Oh, there they are. Oh. Hey, what's the password? Uh, the password is we should fix this window because I can just walk hey, right in. I have a fish and I'm not afraid to use it. Please don't slap me with your Gary fish. Okay. Uh, Why guys, did you just throw us under the bus like that? I didn't throw you under the bus. Come on. Oh, these... Okay, so you ran us over with the bus. They had just... You were driving the bus. They... You ran us over. Can I talk? Go ahead. I'm sorry. First of all, I brought you pizza. So, you know, you're welcome. Uh, second of all, they had just finished telling me that they might have maybe, uh, you know, killed somebody. And I was like, oh, well, if they killed somebody, then they would never tell anybody that we killed somebody. I just figured, you know, it was fine for me to confide in them. I have to talk about my feelings, Mangle. You know this about me. I can't keep things bottled up inside. That's true, but there's no reason for you to just blame everything on us. I didn't blame everything on you. I just told them that I wasn't even in the room when he died. Uh, but I was the one that lit the building on fire. So that's what they know. I just told the truth. No. Right? You could have, you could have, you know, kind of worked around it. You didn't have to say the whole truth. You're probably right. And next time we kill somebody and I no. am confessing no. to it. No. No. I'm... No. No. We're not going to kill anybody else. You're right. No. Of course. No. no of course not. That's what I'm saying. It's never going to happen. Um, but I do think... I just thought about this outside. I do think we should go check on Henry's children. Right? Or was it one child? I don't even know. Oh, no. The kid's, like, all alone. Yeah. We should uh, we should head over to his house. See how he's doing. Hopefully he's fine. I mean, he probably has a mother, right? Henry was I mean... married, I think. I'm waiting for, like... An apology or something? I'm sorry! I, I... What do you mean? Waiting for an apology? I started this whole thing off with an apology. Remember? It didn't really feel like that. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you're right. You're right. I am sorry. Let me... I am sorry. Mangle... Oh, I got up. I'm sorry. I am pizza. sorry, Mangle and Puppet. If you felt that I threw you... No, no. Not that if you felt. I am sorry that I threw you under the bus and didn't take your feelings into account when telling the story of our murderous escapades. Right. And that you'll make me 300 donuts. I will make you 200 donuts. Make it 250. 225. Deal. Okay, so we gotta go see what that where the kid is, right? Yeah, he's probably just still at Henry's house. Maybe he doesn't even know that his dad's dead yet. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. No. Okay, guys. Uh, I think it's around here, isn't it? I don't yeah. even remember how to get there. I think it's down this alleyway and then maybe to the left. I don't know. We'll find it yeah, eventually, I'm sure. The same. Yeah, this whole neighborhood is so similar to itself. Look at these houses right next to each other. Each one the exact same. Aren't we kind of near the pizzeria, though? Which pizzeria? The one where, uh, they, uh, killed, um, Henry. Uh, yeah. I don't know if they killed him at the pizzeria. I'm pretty sure they killed well, him at a factory of some sort. You know what I mean? The one with Freddy. So should we be, like, careful around here? Oh, no. We're, we're cool. We're cool. Hey, isn't that his house? Oh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> wow, look at us. We did it. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, knock, hey, knock, hey. knock. No, 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 no,
sorry, I'm sorry. What do you mean? What, 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 what are we gonna? What are we gonna? What, what are we gonna answer? Well, I mean, it's not like Henry can answer, and nobody else even knows who we are. We can wow, just be like, "Wow, that was dark." <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Can a little bit more though. He can't. He's D E A D. Remember? Mhm. Mm yeah, no, I very much remember. Why we? Why would they kill such a? Oh, nice I didn't tell you guys. Yeah, Henry's not a nice guy at all. Apparently. I thought he was too, but uh, he might have uh, KI double hockey sticked two people. Oh. Yeah, he he's tied with Afton's record. That's not a good thing to be tied with. Also, it doesn't seem like anybody's home. Oh yeah, nobody answered the door. Let's just go on inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> they left it unlocked. What? Oh, Henry, 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 you deserved what you got. Oh, lock your door, buddy. I'm sorry. That was dark. I'm sorry. Yep, that was dark. Mango, oh, come on. Boy. I. Just, I get in the mindset of being a complete evil person, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay. Maybe it's that suit. Ooh, wait, hold on. Toys. These are called clues. <laughs> no, that's just the kid's toys. Okay, well, maybe if he's upstairs, we can bring him his toys. Well, if he's upstairs, I don't know if walking in and seeing a bunch of animatronics is gonna... That's gonna scare him. Hello? Anybody up here? I'll still be up here. What? How do they live in this house? Is there a bedroom somewhere? There's a couch down here and a couch up here. What are they? Maybe it folds out. Where do they sleep? Oh, probably, probably folds out. Yeah, probably it's fold out. Okay. Uh, is there anything over here that looks like it would belong to a kid? This jukebox, maybe? No? Oh, there's oh. a book in here. There's a book? What does it say? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't grab it. Oh. I don't want to be uh, incriminated. Letter to you Henry. <gasps> Letter to Henry? What could that uh, possibly mean? How convenient. Mm hmm. I don't want to read it. I don't either. Who do you think it's okay. from? Mmm. <laughs> to Henry. Could it be from Henry's Afton? children? Oh, yeah. Mm. Probably it's from Afton. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to throw this out. Read it. Yeah, no. I agree. We shouldn't read it. I'm going to throw this away. Well, and what about the kid? We're going to go home. Kid? Oh, fine. I'll read it. Okay. Here goes nothing. 